What is up guys, today we are going to mod this Dreamcast here and what we're going to do is we're going to install this flash cart which is the GDEMU um, this allows you to play games off an SD card and this replaces your CD drive here so we're going to install this uh, remove the GD ROM drive and then load some games on the SD card and get this up and running. These range from around, well this is a clone so this was like £35 but the official ones can go up to over a hundred, a few hundred pounds but um, this will work the same. The cart that I'm using is the GDMU version 5.5 .5, which I believe is the latest release for the flash cart. So what we want to do is, I want to flip this over and use a Phillips head screwdriver and preferably one that's uh, magnetized so it's easier to get the screws out. Next we want to remove the modem and then there's another screw just underneath there. And the top should just pop open. And there is the insides of the Dreamcast. Now if you have problems with your Dreamcast resetting, you can resolder these pinpoints here. I did a video of this like ages ago. Um, or you just clean these contacts with isopropyl. Usually it just means that these connectors here are not touching each other. It usually just needs cleaning. Um, but what we need to do is we need to take this drive out so there is one screw there, two, three, three screws to remove the drive. Now I used to burn Dreamcast ISOs um, to discs and I have a bunch of them but this is so much easier than having to get the right discs, burn them, and then having loads of discs. Um, so that's the plus side of using the flash cart, is you can just load the games onto the SD card, and it will have a, kind of like a front end menu to it, which you will see in a second. So the CD drive should just pop right out and there it is now I wouldn't throw this away um, because this is what well, this one here is in working order I'll keep this somewhere safe just in case you need to maybe um, use the CD drive again now we want to install the GD EMU drive as you can see this connection here fits right where the CD drive was and I do have the support clips here which plug in, I guess, at the bottom. So these plastic standoff feet pretty much just plug in at the bottom, I believe. Just twist them. And there's only two. I think there should be three. 
if you don't have any of these then you can always just maybe buy them separately uh, but they all should just come with um, three of these I'm missing one um, it's just to level out the drive so it's not kind of lopsided right, so we just want to plug this in just like so and there we go that is it that's installed now and we can put we can put the top back on now you can buy like a support thing here so then there's just not this gap um, but that's only for kind of aesthetic you don't really need the plastic support thing here right, so we're gonna put the top back on and screw everything back in before I do that I'm just gonna clean these and then do it so we're gonna cut to the PC I'm gonna show you how to load games onto an SD card the SD card I'm using is a 32 gigabyte um, SanDisk Ultra. Um, you can have up to 128 gigabyte, or even more, 256. I think people have used with one of these, but there may be some delays with loading times and stuff. But at the moment, I'm just going to use a 32 gigabyte, and then potentially, well, get a 128. I think is a good size for one of these um, okay so yeah I'm gonna show you how to put games onto the SD card all right we are on the PC now so we want to prepare your SD card so insert your SD card and um, like I said I'm using 32 gig if you're using anything above 128 then you're going to need to use the GUI um, FAT32 formatter which you can get on this website here and you just click on this picture and then it should download the GUI formatter I've already got it installed you don't need to install it it's just a program select the correct drive um, you don't want to select your main drive and then accidentally delete it so in my case um, this is drive P that 32 32 gig, I call it DC. We're going to format this. It's already formatted to 32, but it should format for you. And then that should be readable on the flash cart. So once that's done, you should just have an empty folder. And now we want to download the GD menu, which is the second one here. And this will uh, direct you to a media fire. I've already downloaded the, the files. So these are the files that I've extracted. So these are the files that I have extracted. And all we're going to do is right click and copy, or you can cut it, paste it onto the root of your SD card. So you should have a folder called 01 in the GDEMU INI file and the README text. This just tells you how to install and how to um, pair your games into the correct folders, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, so unfortunately you can't just drag and drop the CDI files, um, you have to rename them. So I have a selection of games here. What we're going to do is throw them into the SD card, just drag and drop and rename them. So what we need to do is we need to create a new folder look zero to leave 01 for the menu but we've created a 
new folder called O2. I'm going to do drag and drop. Drag and drop Capcom versus SNK2. Once it's transferred, you want to right click, rename, and just call it disk. So now we have Capcom vs SNK2 ready to be played on the SD card. We're going to do another one, let's call it 03. Let's put Dynamite Cop on there. Alright, so I've added some more games here. So I've got now I've got 17 games and they don't take up too much size. They all average from 700 to around 800 um, in file sizes. These are all just this single disc games. Uh. So once you've done that, you can now eject your SD card and then plug it into your um, Dreamcast. So we're going to go ahead and do that and test out the games. Alright, so that's a good sign. So if you see the splash screen load and then license then the menu, GD menu will come up. If you have a problem where it crashes or the intro just kind of hangs, then try to reposition the um, drive because it may not be sitting properly because you don't screw it in. Um, it's easy to kind of knock it out of place. So I'd recommend trying that or trying a different SD card if the GD menu doesn't load. Um, you may have issues with formatting. Uh, just make sure you use the GUI formatter and choose a 64-bit cluster size for the SD card. But it's working now and we have our 17, well, 16 games here. As you can see, there's like some disc art here, some don't load, a lot of them don't load. Um, it takes a while for it to kind of pop up. And you can manually put your own artwork and stuff or disc art. Yeah. If you press X on menu, this is the GDMU options. So we have region 3, it's on, force VJ is on, in-game re reset, which is the, if you press all the buttons, the trigger and the start button, that brings you back to the intro of the game, or the menu of the game that you've selected. I've got boot intro on, Sega license is on, everything's just on, so just kind of leave that, but you can mess around with that if you want to, sysinfo, to sure. Oh, this is just the version I'm using. This is Act um, Flashcart, and I'm using a composite cable. So let's try a game quickly. I want to see what's about. Let us try Daytona USA. It looks like it's loading fine. Maybe what I'll do is I'll skip the um, intro. I'll turn off the intro on the settings just to save time on loading. So then each game that you load, you don't have to see two intros. This is just reading my memory cards. But this is in there, this is in Japanese. sure if this is going to load. This shouldn't take this long. Might have to reset. 
Now you may have some games that don't work like this, or you may have some games that glitch out or sound different. Um, maybe try to download a different CDI CDI um, file because the game could be corrupted. This is, this is the first dream event of the 21st grade. A little bit slow. What an incredible cast of warriors has gathered here. However, only one team shall be crowned the champion of the Millionaire Fighting 2001. But the road to victory... Oh man, are you ready for this? This tournament is held under the free election system. Keep rocking. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight! That seems to be working fine. So that is it guys, that is how you install a GD EMU drive into the Dreamcast and play games off an SD card. A great way to um, add a big library of games onto your Dreamcast that don't need discs, you don't need to change a disc or anything like that. So thanks for watching guys and I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I'll see you again on another video.